Hello. <laughs> In our tent, we uh, are going to experiment with getting uh, our tower gardens up earlier since it's still in the teens right now outside. Um, we're in our greenhouse that we, you know, that we built, uh, that we've slowly been, you know, finishing, and uh, it turned into more than just a greenhouse. It turned really into like a sunroom. Because uh, we put too many nice finishings and windows in, so <laughs> that's why we started building the hoop houses. But we want to get these tower gardens up so we can have lettuce and stuff for us to eat while it's still uh, cold outside. So here in January, uh, we're going to try, we just seeded, as we'll show in the other part of the video already, where we just seeded a bunch of lettuce and stuff. So we'll try to get these tower gardens up here once those are ready. Uh, but we've got our, our tent here and... It is uh, overnight, we tested it out. It stayed uh, steady between 80 to 85 degrees all night long. While in the sunroom, just outside, it was about in the mid 30s. And then outside, the air temperature there was, I think down to uh, maybe 16, something like that. So, got a little space heater in here. Uh, we just put the light up, so. Hopefully that'll be good enough, but the idea is that with uh, all of the sides being the mylar reflective material that it'll help reflect a lot of that light so that around the towers they'll get enough light, uh, you know, without having to add like the LED kits and stuff. Uh, if we need to, we'll, we'll add some more light in here, but this is just uh, one of the, it's an Agribrite, you know, T5. Uh, eight T5 bulbs up there, so we'll see how it goes. We're gonna add some of the ventilation so I can get airflow through here and everything and just exchange the air. So I still gotta order those, but we've got a couple weeks until we're ready to get those seedlings in. But it's coming along. We set this up yesterday. It's five feet by nine feet, and then it's eight feet tall. So this is the uh, the tower gardens with the two extra pot extension kit on it. So we've got, uh, was it nine pots here total? So we've got a bunch of uh, a bunch of space to, to grow inside of here alone. Hopefully we can get enough things started early. We also, we did the peppers, as you'll see too, we seeded peppers. And we're gonna put those, uh, either maybe put a couple of those, you know, rock wool cubes is directly in here for a little bit and we can transplant them later. Um, but we might also just putting them into five gallon buckets and doing like a deep water culture type setup for now and then eventually get them moved out when it gets warmer into the Dutch buckets. Um, but just trying a couple different things to see what we can do and try to get some, some produce going early in the season. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're getting ready to seed lettuce and peppers and tomato. Oh Spinach. Yeah, spinach. Some basil. Basil. Lots of different hot peppers. We've got our layout right here so that we know where everything is. Yeah. And then we mm -hmm. labeled the front. Yeah, I labeled the front on the, the thing over there. The way these are all sitting in. Um, and I guess video evidence will, will help. <laughs> us yeah. to remember if we cut, didn't get something. If we lose the piece of tape. But yeah, so I got uh, rock wool cubes and I put, uh, again, I grabbed water from the hydrant outside direct from the well. And I sat these in here overnight. Uh, it's been on a heat mat so that we could get the, you know, the water up to room temperature or, you know, warmer because it was probably coming out near freezing. <laughs> so, yep. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, set this up and start start seeding.
it upstairs. Front. <laughs> so standing back outside the tent, uh, you can see it's five feet by nine feet. It's pretty tall and it just fits inside of the greenhouse, which is nice. Uh, gonna be replacing the roof, which is why we kind of want to do this uh, since we won't have a lot of that direct light coming in. Um, you know, this did turn into a sunroom and it got extremely hot in here, pushing, you know, up in like the 120 above over the summer uh, on certain days. So we want to put a nice new metal roof so it's enjoyable in here before, you know, having to put an HVAC uh, or like a mini split in. But out of the tent, it's nice. We can kind of move this around and situate it. You know, if we wanted to change the orientation in here, it's easy to do that. But from the windows, you can see, I'll open up uh, one of these windows. So you can take a peek in there and see, you know, the towers and check on the progress and everything, make sure everything's good. I'll probably end up putting a camera in there or two as well, whenever we get things started. But. It's nice to have this because now we can keep the lights on and keep things, you know, into the early and evening hours when it's pitch black outside so that we're not uh, lighting up like a lighthouse here <laughs> for the, the couple of the neighbors. So just for orientation, you can see the, the new hoop. So we've got, we got the actual hoops put together. They're all just laying down on the ground uh, waiting for us to get Whenever it's a little bit warmer, we can get out there and finish the ground posts on the end. So we'll have the, the hoop there and we got the existing hoop. And then you can see the, the mini hoop there. So we'll have a couple other garden plots that we're going to work on uh, on the other sides of that current mini hoop. So we'll be taking down that fence and putting up more uh, in the ground so we can do carrots and you know other root vegetables and that type of thing. And then we'll be eventually uh, adding the deck here to kind of finish off the, the sunroom. That'll be nice. So, but for now, I figure we should utilize the space so we can get, you know, something growing and have these tower gardens up and running since they've been sitting around, we haven't had a chance to use them yet. So I'm excited to, to try that out and, you know, get some produce. Got pepper, sprinter, one. Red night. Oh. That should be it, right? Mm -hmm. Good okay. Oh no. There we go. Is that <laughs> GoPro, stop recording. I'll say it faster. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. We're just going to keep all of those noises in. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording.